Welcome to the Marshall Pro Podcast, brought to you by Cooper Tires and the Justice Brothers. We have three special episodes in a row for you, featuring the brand new Road to Indy Champions, starting off here with 2019 Indy Lights title winner, Oliver Askew from the Andretti Autosport team. Amazing performances by the young Floridian this year. No doubt who is going to win the title, frankly. Great head-to-head battle throughout the season with Renus VK from the Hunkos Racing Team. Nonetheless, just ask you coming out on top. And based on everything we've seen so far, there's every reason to believe his ascension, like Colton Herta, like Pato Award, behind him in Indy Lights at Andretti Autosport will go nothing but vertical. So speaking with Oliver right after he won the title in Monterey, great insights into his year, a little bit of background, also some thoughts about the future and what he wants to make happen for himself in the NTT IndyCar Series with the three race plus the Indy 500 advancement prize coming his way. Is he headed to Chip Ganassi Racing? We wouldn't be surprised if we learned that was the case. So let's get going here with Oliver Askew. Sit down for about 10 or 12 minutes. Then after Oliver, we're going to move into the next tier below. That being new Indy Pro 2000 title winner, Kyle Kirkwood. Then we close with brand new USF 2000 champion, Braden Eves. On the Marshall Pruitt Podcast, brought to you by Cooper Tires and the Justice Brothers. Oliver Askew. You smell like champagne. That tells me something really well. That could actually be from last night. All right. (laughs) No, I still had a race today. We can celebrate tonight, though. Indy Lights champion. How does that feel? Surreal. Um, I I did believe that it was possible all year, though. I'm I'm a a big believer in in the law of attraction, and I've I've felt that uh, you know I've I've dreamt of 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 holding that check Monday night at the banquet. Um, all year, and uh, you know, Andretti Autosports is uh, now back-to-back Indy Lights champion. So I had I had no doubt in my mind that we were going to have a shot at it this year, and I'm, I'm very happy to have sealed the deal this weekend. Let's talk about this year. You and this crazy Dutch kid. I like what I'm seeing from a standpoint of we had hoped coming out of last year's Indy Lights Championship, Pato would be here full-time, and we would have the two top two guys potentially start an IndyCar career where they could be the main storyline. Hasn't quite worked out there. Colton, though, I don't know if he needs a protagonist. He's whooping up on everybody. Tell us about knowing you're heading into an IndyCar career. We believe Renus will be there as mm-hmm. well. Sounds like you two are going to have a great time together. Yeah. More intense times, though. Mm -hmm. How does it feel to know you've got someone that you're going to keep doing this with? Yeah, I think there's going to be a lot other uh, fast cars around us next year. Um, But yeah, I've been racing Renus for for five years now. So even before USF 2000, we were racing each other in carts in Europe. So um, we've always raced each other uh, very fair, and um, I think we have some a lot of respect for each other and I don't think we would both be as good as we are now without each other and, and without the competition so um yeah it's it's been a it's been a huge battle this year and I mean I I thought he was going to be the guy to beat all year and, and it turns out to uh turns out to be true we finished one two in the championship so um I'm looking forward to next year and and uh yeah like you said it's it's cool to see Pato and, and Colton have have success in IndyCar and and you know the the transition from lights to IndyCar is is pretty seamless. So um, I'm looking forward to you know getting some more seat time in that car and, and, and getting the most out of it next year. I want to spend some time talking about your Andretti Autosport team. Mm-hmm. They are known for doing one thing in road to Indy configuration and also, frankly, for young drivers stepping up into IndyCar, and that is you get a lot better because the institution of wisdom there is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. (laughs) He's a champ. He's a champ. 500 winner, this. You step down to the engineers, Mm -hmm. and you go, I mean, it's it's comical. Yeah. Tell us about the influence on the team side, working with this amazing natural talent we've 
seen from you for years, but yeah. tell us about the process of them working with you and helping to harvest that to higher levels. Yeah, I often forget how successful the individuals are that are working around me because it's, it's such a family-like atmosphere and, and everyone's very open to, to helping each other succeed. You know, it's, that's what's cool about the team. You know, I, I, can, I can go to, to any of the IndyCar drivers um, at Andretti Autosport and ask them for advice, so, which I did the other day. You know, this, this, uh, they had more experience on this track from their tests, so I was picking their brains a bit. And, um, you know, the, the engineering group that we have at Andretti Autosport on, on the light side is um, uh, very successful and have had a lot of years um, in Indy Lights, especially, you know, there's their, their Indy Lights, Lights based engineers and they've worked for, for other teams in the past and they have um, tons of experience with, with that tire and, and, and this chassis as well. So um, Doug Zister, he's, he's worked for New Garden and, and Herda Absolutely. in the past. And um, uh, he's, I think, I think this year was, was his fifth or sixth Freedom 100, something Ridiculous. crazy like that. So um, very happy to be, to be paired with him this year. And um, I, I wish, wish him the best in the future. And hopefully maybe we can cross paths again in the future. So um, I, 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 I told JF and Michael just now, it doesn't, doesn't look like we're, we're going to be uh, racing with them next year, but I really hope we can be uh, involved again um, in the future. I want to stay in Indy Lights for just a moment before we talk about future stuff. So in this season, sounds like someone just got killed next door. We should say a prayer real quick. In this season, you have shown immediately that this was going to be your one and only Indy Lights season. Oh, yeah. I mean, whether you won the championship or not, in yeah. terms of preparedness, mm -hmm. that was clear. Share with us the, the process of learning a new chassis, mm -hmm. turbocharged engine. I think it might be the first time you, you've raced with a turbo engine. Yeah, first time. Also working with a, I don't want to say new, because you've been in the road indie with Cooper tires, mm -hmm. but a new big old meaty yeah. set of Cooper tires to oh, work yeah. with. It's not just your talent that gets displayed. It's your ability to learn and adapt and execute that makes the kind of season you've had. Tell us about the learning part. I feel like I thrive on, on preparation. Um, and this year, that's, that's what it was all about. Um, and, I, and I can you know, talk about Doug again. Both him and I um, look through a, a ton of data before we, we go to these races because, you know, and. In, in lights, we only get one or two practice sessions before quality, and, and, and quality is big in this in, in this series. So, um, yeah, it's it is the first turbo car I've driven. Um, the transition from USF to to Indy Pro 2000 was a bit easier because it's the same chassis. So it was it was a pretty big step up to to Indy Lights, um, and I and my testing schedule was limited at the, at the beginning of the season sure. because, um, I mean, even com compared to my teammates, they had quite a few days more than, than I did before. Your deal St. got Pete. done a little yeah, later than optimal. Probably t two or three weeks before St. <laughs> Pete. And yeah, I honestly had no idea if I was going to be racing this year because without the scholarships, the scholarships have, have been crucial for, for my career. And, um, I'm very fortunate to have, uh, index invest in the cell red company on board this year. And they re they really made a big, um, a big commitment to to help me make this next step and um thankfully it all worked out but uh i feel like this car has suited my driving style um it requires fast hands which which i kind of had to adapt yeah, yeah. to but it also requires um smooth inputs on the pedals as well because it doesn't have that much power sorry it doesn't have that much traction um it, it's it's very on top of the road um at most tracks and um you you have to be basically steering the car with your feet. So um, I feel very comfortable doing that. Two more quick road to Indy items for you. Mazda obviously is no longer there in terms of the, the title sponsor of the road to Indy, mm. but any chance we get to speak lovingly of John Dunan, and Mazda mm. Motorsports, everything they've done mm -hmm. in terms of scholarships, yeah. just any help possible. Cooper Tires as mm -hmm. well. I mean, everybody involved, Anderson Promotions, yeah. Let's talk, though, about Moss's influence, John Doonan's. I know he's also a part of, uh, of helping get you here. And I, if you haven't already received a big bear hug from him, <laughs> yeah. I know you will. Yeah, I did yesterday. It was really cool to see him in victory lane um, when, when I received my championship trophy. And John Doonan, uh, Kyle Kimball, you know, um, 
Mo Murray, those guys have have um, helped tremendously. And, and I'm without Mazda and, and you know the Mazda Road to Indy, what it was called a couple of years ago. It was um, that's where I, I saw an opportunity in motorsport, and that's where I saw an opportunity to become an IndyCar driver. I knew that the task was going to be really difficult. Um, but I was up for it. And like I said, I, I, I thrived on preparation and I gave it everything I, I could. Um, you know, I've, I've been, I've been racing since I was seven years old and I've, I've dedicated my life to this and, and I'm really happy to have met the, the people I, I have and, and, you know, Mazda Motorsports and, and Jeremy Shaw as well, who, who kind of both kickstarted my, my open wheel career. And, Patron um, saint of junior American open wheel racing, oh yeah. Jeremy Shaw. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's been cool to see those guys at most of the races and uh, uh, ho- hope to be um, a representative of, of, of that group of people in the future. Last road to Indy question for you. So for those who learned about Oliver Askew a couple years ago when you won the, the shootout to get onto the road to Indy, Jeremy with the Team USA really trying to introduce you to people. For those who learned about you then, they're probably taking pride in seeing what you've achieved on the road to Indy. That's forgetting an entire segment, if not nation, of carters oh, yeah. who look to you and go, road to Indy, great, mm-hmm. going to IndyCar. Mm-hmm. No, 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 no. He's one of us. Yeah. Tell me about inspiring the next seven-year-old kid from Jupiter, Florida, wherever yeah. else, who realizes that, oh, okay, yeah. this can be done. Right. It's... Uh it's very, very cool. Uh, that's that, and that's an understatement. It's um, I love going back to the karting track these days and and to to be a, a role model to those kids. Um, you know that that was me just seven or eight years ago. You know, and, and look looking up to to the IndyCar guys, it looked so far away, but it really is possible if if you you know you know, put, put all your effort into it and meet the right people. It's, it is, it is possible. And, um, I, I plan on, I plan on giving back to that community as much as I can. Um, because it, it is very difficult. The, the transition from carts to cars, it's, it's two very different communities and, um, you know, just, just the introduction to, you know, people, people like Jeremy and, and, um, you know, pe- uh, people involved in, in the road to Indy, that's, that's huge to, to a father and, and uh, daughter son duo. So, um, yeah. And, and, uh, back to my old pre days, I'd like, like to say a thanks to them as well. Um, George Ariano and those guys, I, they picked me up when I was 11 or 12 years old and, and paid for, for five years of my karting career. Wow. So, um, I mean, I can go on and on and talk about people who have who have really um, my third grade teacher told me I could do it. <laughs> no, she she, oh, she she didn't she didn't think I could do it. Oh, she uh, uh, that was my fifth grade teacher. Third grade ones told you to stop eating crayons. I yeah, think, <laughs> no, I remember I remember I took took a Friday off to go to go to uh, a karting race and she wasn't very happy. She she didn't she didn't believe in motorsport at all. But um, shout out to her. She'll be getting a <laughs> ticket to this year's Indy Five Hundred. Oh yeah, I'll ask yeah. you. Let's close on the future. So you're in a unique situation, and I was mentioning this before we started recording. So last year, we had Pato and Colton driving for the Andretti team through an Andretti association. The Harding team had already been named as the ones that were going to take them into IndyCar. There was already a pipeline established, frankly, before the season had ended for them in lights. I don't know if I've seen a new Indy Lights champion receive as much buzz and talk in the IndyCar paddock where he might go, hey, I've heard this team really wants to talk to him. This one over here could be not asking you to name names, obviously, because I don't want to get you fired before you get hired. Tell us about the interest you've received, though. This is real, right? This isn't just me here in nonsense. Yeah, yeah it's uh, <laughs> my favorite pastime these days is to read the threads on on racer.com and, oh and all, no and, no and don't all do the, that no. those i love reading uh like the speculations and you know where where i'm going to be going and, and you know some some of them are spot on but uh you know nothing nothing is signed yet it's um i i've i've been putting myself in front of indycar teams um for three years now and i yeah. think um that's that's played a p- pretty big role in, in the buzz that that we've generated so far um congrats bud 
<laughs> Brady Nace needs. just walked in the room. Uh-huh. Um, you got two champs in yeah, the room big, now. Yeah, big superstar. Plus Dan Swintall, that makes three champs right yeah. there. <laughs> so um, the the buzz is good. That's that's what we've we've been trying to generate all year, and um, you know it's it's good to have um, you know sev- several teams uh, fighting fighting over um, myself. So that's it's a really cool position to be in. Um, if you told me you know I was going to be Indy Lights champion nine months ago when I didn't have a seat in the series, you know it'd, it'd be um, I wouldn't believe you, but um, very very cool situation to be in for sure. Very humbling. Let's finish on this. So we know that the advancement prize from the series is going to get you into a handful of races. We know the Indy 500 is part mm-hmm. of that as well. Share with us how things are going, even at this early stage, in working with your current sponsors, maybe some others, to try and fill out a bigger schedule. Because I don't want to just see you a couple times next year. Yeah. I, want to, I want to hear about a full-time schedule. Do yeah. you think that's at all possible? Definitely. That's what we're working towards. Um, I mean, right right now, we just we just have the scholarship to, to provide. Um, but that's, uh, you know, there, there's a lot more promotion and um, exposure that we can provide in um, both Indy Lights and IndyCar. So it's, it's been a, a bit easier for, for my agency and myself to kind of promote what we're doing here. And um, I, I look forward to, this is probably going to be one of the best off seasons I've had in a while. So it's, it's going to be exciting. We have a lot of momentum. And, um, you know, to, to anybody listening, um, we have... Um, we have a lot of exciting um, opportunities um, that's going to be happening in the future. So um, I'm, I'm, I'm quite confident that we have the right group around me to, to put myself in a good position and, and to be affiliated with a, t- with a top team next year. And to, the goal is to run a full season. So um, noth- nothing short of that. And um, I feel like that's the, that's the best way for me to get prepared. And I mean, look at Colton Herta. You know, he's really, he's, he's, um, he's really put on some strides the last couple of races. And he's, he's just, just now getting getting uh, a feel for the car and a feel for his surroundings in the IndyCar championship. So um, it's, it's going to take more than three races to, to really um, show what I can do. So that's, that's, um, you know, that's, that's for real. Congratulations, yep. champ. Thank you.